Hello, everybody. Welcome back. This is Tinker77. We're back on the Q-Tech world, and today I think we're going to automate the production of plastic. Now, if you recall, we're trying to work on the processor bindings here. So if you look at this processor binding, this piece right here, it does take as part of the recipe plastic sheets. And we can make that pretty easily, but I'd like to automate that process. So we're going to do that now. Where is the sun? Is it going down? Looks like it's dark outside. It's still up pretty high. Okay, so one of the things we're going to do is we are going to go and make another tank here. And we're going to take it over to where we have the oil supply and see if we can get a little bit more stuff out of there uh, pretty quick here. I don't know about the light source. Okay. Uh, we also would like to take, I know there's a power source there and a pump and let's grab a bucket so we can grab a, some buckets with us. Okay. Let's run over there really quick. Hopefully we can do this quickly. It's across this hill. So here we go. Now, just to let you know, guys, I have been streaming on YouTube and I've been trying to post when I stream, but if you don't know my stream schedule, typically I am on Sundays and Thursdays at 7 p.m. Eastern and then other times as I find the time. Let's grab a couple of buckets really quick here. There we go. I also need to uh, get some more of the pump here and move it to someplace else so we can get more of the resources. And we have a power source. Nope, not the grass block. There we go. I'm going to put it... Uh, I know, it's wrong pool. Put this tank all right there. And we're going to put this off to the side of it. I think we're supposed to do it the side of it. I want all of these to be output, which is blue. Put that right there. It didn't connect up. You can see it connected to the wrong side. Connect that up there. And we'll put the tank on top. And we're just gathering up the oil we need for uh, our system. This is used to make the plastic. Now, the nice thing about this is, is that we're going to actually bring this into our storage system now that we are storing fluids in it. So we're going to grab this pretty quick. Did we get everything? Really? Wow, we've cleared out the entire process. It means we can take all of this back. Nice, very nice. Okay, so all that's done. We're going to find another source for oil, I think. Let's go home. Did you just move me, chicken? No, you didn't. Okay. So we want to be able to bring in this stuff into our uh, system here. This is all of, let's say, uh, the part of the storage system. I'm trying to find a good place for this. It's down here. Let's see. Let's go make a shovel, and we're going to dig out some of that wall right there. As you call, recall, I don't have a good shovel, so let's make a, make a ruby shovel. Yeah, that'll work. And we're also should probably bring in an importer. Okay, let me grab one of those. What we're going to do here is we're going to put a system in place so that we can get access to this uh, material. So what I would like to have is we, a place like say right here where when we put a, a this down the tank right here. It will then hook into the system and be imported in uh, to the storage. So what we got to do is run a line. I really need to get some more cables here. Uh, let's put this here. We're going to say import. We're going to say import fluids and we're going to import buckets of oil or whatever the oil material. And I need some more cables. We also need to sleep now that it is dark. So we got a bunch of cables here. Let's go sleep as well. Sleeping, and of course, during the sleep time, gotta drink my coffee. Mm. Do you like coffee? Coffee's really good in the morning, although mine's getting a little cold. Anyway, we'll do that, and so this should start to go down um, as it's imported into our system. That's the goal, anyway. So let's go and check if that is coming in here. You would think it is, but we don't know for sure. Now, I don't see it in the fluid grid, so why isn't it coming in is the question. So it is an importer, fluids, we're saying get oil. Is there something to do with side configuration on this one? Um, I'm not sure. I think that this should work. 
Why is it not importing? Importing into our storage system. There it goes. Okay, I had to switch it from blacklist to whitelist. So it is importing into the system all of that oil. And so we should see that up here in our fluid grid. And there it is. We're seeing all the buckets of oil. That's excellent. Now I'm also going to make right now some spare canisters. You see we have some canisters of ethane. We also have some empty ones. And I think it'd be nice to have these. These are very cheap to have. So if I put this in here. Because we're going to be using a lot of these canisters as we go. Okay, so now that we've done that, we've got to start to work on our actual process. These three machines. I'm going to put them over here. Um, I'm going to run power from the bottom. That's not a uh, something I can hit there very easily, is it? Um, make some space here. And let's take this out. Okay, so we got some space here. Now, I do want to bring over power. So let's see about going down. Let's go straight across here because I see power lines straight across. We're going to run power so we have power for the systems here. That's the first part of this process. Hopefully, we can get this all automated before this episode is over. I think we can do it if we're lucky here. Okay, so we've got that. Let's go get some power cables. And let's get some importers and some other things here that we need. So we need uh, energy. Nope. We're going to need power cables. We may need more of that. Uh, let's make some more. These are basic energy pipes. Okay. Just in case we need more. Just in case. Oh, I guess we're out of that stuff. We also need to have uh, importers. And exporters. And any of the canisters types we have. We think we have these right now. Okay, that should work. And we'll check what we have down here. Okay, so the first part of this process is the refinery. Wow, let's get some of this stuff out of here. There. Okay, and let's grab this device. We're going to do each one separately. Let's run the power now. All the way across. So I want to run this here. And it's going to come up here and go across. I think I do I gotta do one more space here this is so that we can have a crafter which we're going to use to craft uh, the plastic at the end so we need four machines okay so that should work there and now let's cover this back up great so the first machine that we're going to be using again is the refinery so we're going to put that down it should be getting power it is now we're going to be running around here with the various uh, things to hook up into here. So what does a refinery take? Well, you have to input into it oil, right? So let's say we're going to export out of our system here. And we need some cables. That'll tie in. And we're going to export oil. Okay. And so actually it is a fluid, isn't it? We're exporting a fluid of oil. And so this should eventually, there it comes in. The fluid is coming in. That's excellent. Now, on the item side of this, see, that's the fluid side. We want to put in canisters, empty canisters, so that the canisters are coming in. So what will happen is, as you can see here, it'll make what it needs, and it'll make both ethane and diesel. Now, it's made the diesel. We want to bring that into our system, so we need to have an importer to import back into our storage system. So we'll put that on top and bring that cable over like that and so now you can see those things are automatically put away so now as this thing exports oil it'll come into here it'll make this stuff for us automatically so that should be done now i'm not sure why it doesn't export as fast as this when it should be exporting oil but i've seen this thing work and it does work in a test world so that should be okay there's some more oil came in so it may be a little slow but hey it's still working as fine Next step we have is this. This is the mixer. So let's grab the mixer. It has all those resources there. Now the mixer. This one's going to be a little bit trickier because it takes two different types of materials. So here's the mixer. It's getting power. We want to have it this exported into this two things. And we're going to get a machine for part of it. So part of this is if we do this, 
Uh, that's an importer. I'm not wanting an. I want an exporter. I always make the wrong one. Okay, so we are going to export into this machine. We need to put into it any ethane. Okay, and you can see it fills up the, all the ethane, and we're going to import back into this everything that's an output, which. As, as you know, would be like these empty canisters or any canisters that are used. So we've filled up with ethane. It's waiting to put the ethane in here uh, so that we need to get some water. So let's do that. We're going to have to make uh, another bucket for some water. Let me take these buckets here. You can see it immediately move that. And we're going to put uh, right here in this spot, I think we're going to put a, a water condenser is the device. So I want to put... Um, I don't know if this water will wash that out. That's kind of interesting. Um, let me get rid of this really quick so we can have an infinite water source here. Let's put one there. And, and that'll, that'll work. That'll work for me. Now, we got to make that condensator. It's a water condensator because we need to add water to the system. So let's get a water condensator. We need, looks like we need some pistons. There we go. And iron gears. We have that. And a bucket of water. <laughs> okay. I guess you got to have a bucket of water to make a water condensator. There we go. Let's go back up. And this device then will gather water from the nearby water sources. We have that. We also need our pipes. This is a fluid pipe and we'll need the configurator to configure it to bring that water into the system okay we're doing pretty good here so i'm going to put this right here okay and it should be gathering water into the system you can see it is bringing water in and that's fantastic let's get a pipe and the pipe is going from here to here and let's configure this to push that water in like that and there it goes so now this machine has ethane it has water it's processing, and it should be exporting that stuff out and back into our storage system. Let's make sure that it does produce what we think it is, which should be polyethylene, right? There's polyethylene. Now, this we need to uh, export canisters, don't we? Empty canisters. There, added empty canister, and you can see it's bringing that in. And already the piece that was there, the polyethylene, has been moved. Watch, there it goes quickly, and it's probably brought back into the system. That's fan. Fantastic. Next device we're moving on is the solidifier. Okay, we have that. And the solidifier again takes power. We'll put it right on top of here. Okay, now for the solidifier, we need to bring in polyethylene canisters. So again, we're gonna use the exporter. I've got a few of those. And we're gonna export into the system polyethylene. Okay, and you can see it's doing that. And then from there, we want to import. I'm gonna grab my importers everything from that so basically now it emptied it pulled in the empty canisters and it should be bringing in the plastic sheets or little plastic pellets there it goes okay so this thing will just continuously make what we need for uh the resource you can see it's just going along this is fantastic there's oil coming in you can see it's got plenty of canisters this one here is plenty of canisters and it's making the po the uh, polyethylene and then this one makes the plastic so we have a bunch of plastic pellets being produced right now Excellent. Now, what do we have to do next? I wanted to make a crafter, and this is where we're going to, have to do a little bit more work. Let me get rid of some of the stuff that we don't need. Uh, we probably will need these, at least one of these, for the um, machine that we're going to be making. Okay, we're going to make a crafter here. This is the crafter, and it takes all of that. You can see we don't have any of that, but that's pretty easy. We need two crafting tables. We need two redstone torches and this piece here, which is the machine frame, which we can do, I think, pretty easily. We can make the circuit board. That was easy. Looks like we got to make blue alloy ingots, four of those, and we need to make um, four of the blue wafers. So we need four silicon wafers and a total of 16 teslatite. So we don't have any of those yet, but we can just do that. Where's the saw? Okay. And then we need to get the 
Tesla type. And we only need to do this over here a little bit. So I'm going to do four of these and 16 of this, and it should make what we need and bring it into the system up here. And then the blue, this blue alloy ingot is just silver and Tesla tight. So let's get some silver. What's what? What? How did my whole system just go down on me power wise? I'm sure we're producing enough power, but it, apparently we're not. It's also dark, so we're not generating any power. Um, it's slowly going up. This system may be actually using too much power. This happens sometimes with what I've been working on here. Okay, so this has got all that we need. It's slowly filling back up. So we are filling back, filling the power. So things should start back up and turn on, I would think, as, as things get back up to power levels. Uh-oh, this is bad. This happens sometimes during my stream where I don't have enough power. Um, and we got to figure out what that is. So what I'm going to go over here really quick. This has been working fine. But I'm going to uh, turn on the redstone modes here so that it has to work when there's redstone. So they should just stop consuming power. For now, that's fine. We'll have to beef up the power stuff in a little bit. Now, did this come back on? This did come back on. Okay, so there's our four blue wafers. And we're trying to make the other pieces of the... So we need silver. I think I need, needed four of this. And we needed uh, the Tesla type. Okay, we'll put that in here. This should make the blue ore that we need. So we're just going to wait for this for a second. I really got to get some food too. Do we have any bread? No. Wow, do we have any uh, mutton? We have a bunch of mutton. I'm going to cook that up. We need to get that food. Put it in the smoker. We'll wait for that. That'll be a good food source for us for a while. And we got all of that, if you recall, from the uh, killing all the mobs, all of our farm animals yesterday in the last video. So there you go. Okay, we need four of the blue alloy ingots. This has to go in here. This has to go in here. Let's wait on the last one. There it is. Now we should be able to make the crafter. There's the machine frame. There is the crafter. Okay. And we're also going to need a plastic pellet to tell it the recipe. And here we go. So now we're going to have this machine here. Should be gathering power. That's fine. We're going to go to the recipe and we're going to say take four of these pellets like that and make plastic. Okay. And so it's going to basically do that. Bring the pieces in here. Pull it out to here. So first of all, let's do this part here where we're going to export. And I'm telling you to export plastic pieces. And you can see there they're coming in from the storage system. And it's making plastic. And of course, we need to import that like that. And so those pieces now should be coming into our storage. And we have just finished automating plastic. And I am stuck. <laughs> So that should be all that we need in here. If we look at the plastic now, oh, there we go. You can see it's, these are being removed and it's making these sheets, which is excellent. Now we have a problem with our power systems and I have had these making the various resources. And so we have four more of these redstone solar panels. I'm gonna take those, I'm actually gonna use them on our lines here to see if we can get more power generated because we are running low on power. So I'm gonna put these down here. And each of these should be generating 64 RF. So hopefully that generated another 256 and that this should go up. I am not sure though. It's not looking like it's going up. But then again, these power lines hold power. And so they do have to get refilled. So hopefully this will work out. Let's get our food here. Oh yeah, there we go. All right, one last check. Power levels are coming back up, which is excellent. So let's turn some of this back on. Let's turn this back to ignored and ignored and this one here to ignored. So that's our system. You can see it's working and producing everything we need. How are the power levels? Are they still going up? They are still going up, which means we are not 
consuming as much power. So here it is, guys. Isn't this fantastic? I think this is great. Basically, what we've got here is a system that has oil. If we ever need to get more oil, we can grab it and put the tank down here and just import it into the system. The refinery then takes the oil and it makes basically ethylene and diesel. Then the ethylene is put into this system or ethylene, ethylene, sorry. Ethane gets here and then the water gets pulled into it as well. There we go. And that makes polyethylene just like here. You're going to see it here in just a second. Polyethylene. There it's gone, which is bringing a solidifier, which solidifies that down to plastic pellets. And that makes the plastic sheets that we need. And that, guys, is automated plastic sheets. And if we look what we have now, we got 32 plastic sheets. That's awesome. The essence, we've got... 3,680 essence from the last episode. So we are on our way to doing the processor binding. So let's look at what we're going to try to do next time. Uh, let's go to the processor binding right here. Basically, now we have this part figured out, this part figured out. We need to get pink slime. Pink slime is just pink slime and glass panes to make pink slime balls. So probably in the next episode, I would imagine, since we are generating pink slime from the mob farm, we should be able to get the production automated of processor binding. So that's the goal, guys. I sure hope we get there. Hey, if you like this video, please click the like button. If you have any comments, put them down in the comment section. And if you'd like to be notified of the videos that I produce, please subscribe to this channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon so you get all the notifications, okay? Thanks, guys. Have a great day. Bye-bye.